Hello everyone, I'm Rick Strom and yes, I'm going to get a haircut today. Now Real Madrid faced off against Galatasaray yesterday. Galar chasing three goals going into this match. And you know what? We were all thinking, this is going to be fantastic. Welcome to hell, Real Madrid, Los Blancos. And then Cristiano Ronaldo simply trolled us in the first eight minutes. We went into this match thinking, oh my God, this is going to be great. Who knows how Real Madrid is going gonna, is gonna to respond to this sort of criticism and, and this sort of uh, uh, atmosphere that is Galatasaray. And Ronaldo literally trolling us all. That is now 48. 48 UEFA Champions League goals, which ties Andrei Shevchenko. Or as Rick Ross loves to say, Chevy riding high. Now we go into the second half. Emmanuel Abue, somehow, someway, he scores, which is unheard of, it seems, at times for Emmanuel Abue. Wesley Snyder then dissects the entire Los Blancos defense. Okay. Two down, two to go. Within a minute and a half, a cheeky, cheeky little backheel from Didier Drogba. The two guys that came over this past offseason, not even the offseason, what the hell am I talking about? The two newcomers, the absolute stars, who finally uh, not only put Galatasaray, uh, basically put Galatasaray on the map for many, many people, including many Americans. I'm speaking from an American perspective, don't get on me. So suddenly, this cheeky little backheel from Didier Drogba, it's like, all right. We just saw Spike Albrecht. I don't um, even. I don't even think you'll know who I'm talking about. I know I'm talking to many Europeans. Basically, he's a nobody, and then he performed in the Final Four, and this is simply the reason that we love sports. That was the point of that tangent. So now you're thinking, wow, this is one hell of a game. Who knows what the hell can happen? And then in stoppage time, Cristiano Ronaldo trolls us again. Uh, not only does he have the model wife, but he also put, well, the game out of reach in the beginning and then out of reach at the end. So this, this is the third straight time, the third straight semis for Real Madrid. And uh, a few of you guys chimed in on Twitter. James tweets in, or at Hunter WXL at Rick Strom, Real Madrid, champions of shorting the lifespans of fans and doing things the hard way. James, I'm not trying to be your first grade teacher. You spelled things wrong. And then CJS, or here we go, Ahmad underscore Lebde, tweets at Rick Strom, Madrid needs to get rid of some of their useless players. Arbeloa, Higuain, Albiol, Casillas should have played. Great job, Galta. Galta, isn't that Gala, I think is what you mean, Gala. So now it is your job. I'm turning the conversation to you. Chime in down below, get at me on Twitter, on Facebook, social media, what have you. I'm not that good at any of them, but I will certainly try. Cristiano Ronaldo, 49 UEFA Champions League goals, and Real Madrid into the semis for the third straight season. What do you guys think? What do you think of their chances? What do you think of the match? Comment down below and subscribe to TYT Sports.